Hey, what's going on, guys? Mindicus987B here. Welcome back to another episode of NASCAR Thunder 2000. This is episode number 18 today for the New England 300 at New Hampshire. Um, yeah, this track is usually not that good for us early game in Thunder 04, but I forget how it is in Thunder 03 physics. Um, we got a lot of stuff to do in this episode, I'm not gonna lie. Immediately what we're gonna do... Immediately... Nine races for the tire grip. Thank goodness. Hopefully soon, it'll be better. But um, in terms of stuff, I decide on a couple things. We're actually going... Well, since this chassis is going to appear in two races, we're actually going to sell this chassis here. Because the other one, we're going to have two chassis by the time this is all done, over and done with. But we're going to over have enough money just to overhaul... Um, we're actually going to keep this engine, actually, but, but use this engine to overhaul it for two races as well. That way, we'll have a new chassis and a new engine built in the next two races. So we're going to have to take care of our equipment for the next two races, but that's okay. We still have enough engine power, believe it or not, for those two races, so we could actually be okay with that. So we're going to have to modify this car real quick. There we go. Chassis. Select the only chassis we got, and accept the changes to the car. 54 grip, 59 tire wear. Probably couldn't have asked it for anything better than that. Um, yeah. In terms of, like, sponsorship, though, everything's all one race, le one race left to go. This is probably the finale of the UAW Delphi car. If we could get different sponsorships, that'd be great. But we'll have to see, though. But first off, let's take a look at the point standings. We're actually not in dead last for once. Yay! That right now, we're 38th in the standings. That's really nice to see. With potential to get more, because apparently LePage and Chad Little are basically sitting ducks. But of course, uh, Tony Stewart's still leading the way in the points, followed by Rusty Walls. Actually, we're back to having like a four or five car fight for the point standings right now, as we got Ricky Rudd, Dale Earnhardt Sr., and Bobby Labonte, all within striking distance. Kenny Wallace was our winner last time. He became a NASCAR Winston Cup Series winner at Daytona, which is really nice to see. So, we're, so Andy Petrie Racing is coming off a really strong... Uh, uh, really strong week. We're going to hope to carry that momentum into New Hampshire to see if we can actually start being more competitive on tracks that are not named Super Speedways. On to the main show. Well, I got the setup to somewhat stick in the corners anyway, for at least, at least only a, f or a few laps anyway. Of course, I made the gear ratio rather close to the uh, corners anyway. Okay, that was a bad example. Really bad example. I just wanted to skid right then and there, but the second lap will be better, I, I promise for sure. Uh, New Hampshire, always an interesting track. All I see it as is, is the uh, big Martinsville, anyway, because that's what really, really what it is. It's just a big Martinsville. One of the most famous modified races, though, for what I understand. Anyway, coming up for our second lap here. Already 26 in the qualifying grid, so that's, that's really nice to see. We'll probably get a good starting spot. I, I ran a 29.2 in practice, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to get that lap time here, because I kind of overshot the first quarter, anyway. 26 though, right off the right out of the gate. That's really interesting. I forget. I think the pole time's like a 28.7. So either way, we're not going to be gaining that much time. All right, let's see where we're placed on the grid here with that second corner. Lap time's going to be 11th place, 29.202. So already that this this 54 grip has been help has been helping out quite a ton. I don't know if I want to make any adjustments. Eh, fuck it. Let's get on with it. Joe Moore and Barney Hall welcoming you to Loudon, home of the New Hampshire International Speedway, for today's New England 300. What can you tell us about Loudon? This is a tough track for a lot of drivers. These long straights allow the cars to build up a lot of speed before some hard braking going into the flat corners. The 56 car is having some trouble in the points this year. And how frustrating that must be. You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days to gain the valuable points you need. These guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. The 11 car is towards the bottom of the points list this season. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine.
Alrighty, so 11th place on the grid. We got we got poles. We got the points leader Tony Stewart alongside in second place. Got a really good race ahead of us. We got last week's winner is Bobby Hamilton, not Bobby Hamilton, my bad. Kenny Walls in the, in the in the 55 car trying to be behind us as we're underway here. 75 laps around this place. We're gonna try our best to make sure we don't bit it off of like lap one or so. But they're shifting down on the corners. I should probably consider doing that because we're a little bit slow coming off of turn two. Usually turn two and Thunder 04 has been like our strong corner. Now it's like our weak corner because of, because of the quarter exit speeds, it seems. Oh, but it's loosey-goosey off, off of four if I were to shift it at a higher RPM. So we're going to let Scary Terry go by, and Kyle Petty is going to really try to make us a pass on the outside as, as well. The goal, of course, is to not finish last. I think we can do that now once because we have the... Uh, the the um, the upgrades in for the tire wear anyway, so it, so it does uh, has it will last a little bit longer, but we still have no grip whatsoever. We're gonna let our other teammate Joe Nemechek probably go on by as well, because we're still nowhere even close to like any sort of competitive speed there. Oh boy, it got tight there, trying to try to hold these guys off again and again. That was not even close to my lap time I ran during practice. Why is it a 30 something? I have no idea. A little bit of bumping back there. Jerry Nader was about to send me into the middle of the corner. By the way, we still have people to pay back. We still got the 11 and the 31 to pay back. There, so, so there is some, there is some stuff going on there. As speaking of stuff going on back there, good lord, what happened back there? I have no idea. I guess the AI just raced each other a little bit too hard there, but we're gonna still hang on to 18th just for a little bit longer. You say that as if we're gonna try to get up towards the lead. Yeah, right. Oh, what? okay. Shifting into third and initiates initial deep mode. Got it. Maybe when the car gets very tight as a part of the run goes on, but we'll consider shifting down. I think I found like a little loophole or something going into turn three or whatnot because they're like, they, they like to really race each other and wreck each other off the corner as we try to hold up Robert Presley there. No right rear damage, but we're, we're kind of holding up a, th a three car pack as we overshoot the corner. We overshoot the corner and we lost a lot of spots. So we we fell back to 24th because of that little overshoot there. Unfortunate stuff to see, I know. That's just the way it goes sometimes in racing when you make certain mistakes like that. As Warburton gives us a shove a, a little bit as well, trying to slow down for the corner, but he has just so much more cornering speed than we thought. We're still hanging on to 25th, but we're just not going to gain anything, it seems, in this race. Oh, we got a little bit of a nudge there from Mr. Excitement. And, uh, yeah, I'm just holding on to 25th as best I can here. <laughs> 15th play, 15 seconds off the lead. We're not even going to be able to make it all the way around the, into the race with no uh, no laps down anyway. Not like, they, not like Daytona anyway or Talladega. We're just going to keep holding up three lanes of traffic at New Hampshire. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're holding up everybody. Kenny Irwin, Jimmy Spencer, you name it. We're holding up everybody as we overshoot the corner again. This time we lost only three spots. Four, make that four spots with a little bit of a nudge. We're gonna try to hold on to 29th here. Where did, again, it's just, there's no, there's no, there's no uh, grip compared to like some of these other guys anyways. That's why we're like losing so much speed. I might consider tightening the car only because I can get that launch off of, off of you know, third gear or whatnot. I might consider just tightening it up just solely for doing that, as Jeff Gordon eats um, Daryl Walter to shreds for some reason. It's like, see what I mean? Like, it's kind of difficult to drive on third gear, but we're kind of have to do it at this point. So, we're gonna have to uh, think a little something. Oh, speaking of, look who it is back there. I don't know if you want to start try passing me, Mike Skinner. I don't know if you want to do it. I said you didn't want to do it. That was payback from Sonoma. Now we're gonna go put four, four Dr. Feelgoods on and well, repair this damage actually. We're, st we're still gonna tighten it, tighten it up just a little bit just to try to see if we can get that third gear to work with us a little bit better. He was persistent, that, that was. I'll tell you what. I hope I trapped him a lap down, honestly. I hope I did. I think I did, yeah, fuck you. That was payback from Sonoma, bitch. And you are no use of help at all either, Daytona, Mr. RCR Affiliate. Yes, we're going to pit and get ourselves some four Dr. Feelgoods. 
Okay, we're going up a whole round of wedge. That way we can try to get ourselves a little bit more uh, turnability here. We're probably going to think about maybe increasing the tire pressure just a tad to try to compensate the... Uh... No, we're going to keep it the way it is. Four tires and all that. All right, away we go. Now we're back in 41st, but that's okay. Back in second gear we go. We're going to be underway here. Lap 15 out of 75. So we should have a little bit of a tire advantage anyway. We can try to get ourselves back up towards the field as best we can. Again, the whole, the, whole the whole point of this is to tr try to shift down to third gear. It kind of helps a little bit, judging like by that. We got we got uh, a Talladega winner, Andy Houston, trying to race his way into this field, surprisingly enough. Yeah, let's just see how it goes, because we have a proper corner now going into this, into this corner. Oh. Okay, so we still need to uh, tighten it up just a little bit more, it seems, but that's okay. We'll just work with what we got here and try to make our way through the field. We got Gary Bradbury in the 41 as well, trying to make his be somewhat, somewhat competent anyway. He, he's got around, uh, I'm guessing that's Scott Pruitt, I'm guessing as well, who's who just fell a lap down as well, so... Yeah. D doing good so far. We always want to make sure we can just finish a good race here, too. A little bit of bumping and banging against Kevin LePage, but uh, unfortunately we got more of that right front damage a little bit as well. We were just inside the final, battling inside the top tw top 35. We're trying to race against Kevin LePage to get himself get ourselves another bit higher up in the points, but right now it's just been kind of interesting to say the least. Our little uh, situation that we have here, it's still a little lo loose off the corner, probably because of the higher RPMs. But uh, we're gonna try to finish in the top 40 this race. I think it's definitely plausible, but. Uh, even with the tire advantage, it doesn't seem like it's a very good thing for us right now. Maybe we can try to get some points by leading a lap. I don't think it's going to happen, though. An, a an actual caution might come out, though, at some point. So that's, that's something to keep to consider as well, the way the AI have been racing, trying to race me anyway. We're finally fighting inside the top 30. Going to be fighting, trying to fight inside the top 35. We're going to try to pass Scott Pruitt here. Just not exactly the cleanest pass either, but he got it. Top 35. Now we just got to try to keep running away. We're trying to catch up to Dave Blady. We're about to get lapped down as well. It looks like here pretty soon. That's okay. One or two laps down is probably going to be the goal here today. Probably trying to finish inside the top 35 with what we got. We still have to use this engine for two more races because we're overhauling the other one. That's in mint condition, but that's okay. We don't want 53 power. We kind of want like 59 power at this point. And then we'll overhaul. We'll just keep going back and forth between the two engines. As long as we don't blow up, we don't have to worry about uh, overlapping um, like unreliable like 50 across the board engine for at least you know as long as this plan works i'm sure it will but it's it's gonna be a while before we start building things again i am a moron by the way that is dave blaney who's 435th i thought scott pruitt was for position but he wasn't because i am a moron he's ready, ready to fall two laps down so not a good day for mr pruitt like usual that was the re reason why he's 41st in, in the grid in the point standings anyway we're 38th now yeah, we're still trying to catch. We're still trying to catch Mr. Uh, young Dave Blaney here. We're gonna give him a little bit of Philadelphia love here by rubbing him right then and there, and we can make the pass. Oh, that was a nice little rub pass right then and there. Rub his race, I suppose. Next up, we got the legend himself, Daryl Waltrip, trying to make some feeble attempt to, to save his career anyway, even though it's on the swan song. Trying to sh make ourselves back down to third gear. Get a little loose, no big deal. And we're good to go in that corner. We got his other, his brother, Michael Waltrip, up there as well. So, um, a pair of brothers that we're going to try to go for two for one here as our left front starting to wear down. Don't forget the pit cycle will commence in about a few laps. So, we got to think about when are we going to go down pit road. I'm not sure when, to be honest. Obviously, we're not going to be able to lead a lap, I don't think. We're going to make a three-wide maneuver down into turn number three. I almost said one. Don't worry. We're going to make a little bit of rub and racing with uh, Michael Waltrip. We're going to not quite clear the pass as Bobby Hamilton comes down pit road, and we can take the spot away. Now inside, almost inside the top 30 anyway. Rick Mass was the first one to come on down pit road. He's actually already on his way out. We overshoot the corner just a little bit, but we, can't, we catch it, though, just before we lost the nose. Really nice stuff there. We're inside the top 30. We're about to get lapped here, but I'm not sure who, who it is. It is Rusty Walls and Dale Earnhardt Sr. going at it. They're just going to have to see who, who's getting around lap traffic the b better. So good old Rusty is going to make a, make a lap around us on the outside. And he's going to take the, take the lap away from us. So, I, 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 oh, oh, Rick Mass out of nowhere. Hello. 
I, I, I knew you had a lot of speed, but holy crap. That's really interesting. So right now we're in an interesting position. We kind of have to pit when the uh, other people do, like around us. I think Bobby also went down pit road, so he's going to gain a lot of time on us right now before we come down pit road. Tires are, well, not dead, but not alive either. As Bobby gives us a little bit of a shunt burnout three style, but he doesn't take us out. And uh, we're still just holding on. We're probably going to pit, like I said, I don't know, at this point, like lap 40. There's no point trying to lead a lap, I don't think. I'm not going to get myself ass-packed by Bobby, my man, again. Look, I like my man, but I don't like him in, in that sense. You know what I'm saying? Oh, goodness me! Oh, my gosh. That was not on purpose. Wow, I didn't think... I I just clipped the uh, the back of the 28, save it, and then the, and then the grass just uh, made me lose grip there. The grass made me lose a little bit of grip there, as I just clipped the 28 grip back bumper. Wow, that was a bit of a shocker for me, anyway. So this pit cycle kind of trapped some people lap down, it seems. All right, we are a lap down. I really don't know what to adjust for the car. Probably make it a, a tiny bit looser anyway, and I guess increase the tire pressure along with it for this, for this run. Is it going to be a good good adjustment? Probably not. Pro probably not. <laughs> at, at this point, probably not. Ow. Um, game. We'll add, a few rounds of wedge. add a few rounds of wedge? Dude, we're taking stuff out. Where did you go to crew chiefing school? Did you learn the crew chiefing lessons from Greg Irwin or something? Nevertheless, we, we come out 35th. We're, all, we're one part of the lap down cars anyway. And the restart, as we restarted, we're in third gear for some reason, but that's okay. We're not going to bother too much. As now we got try to try to get ourselves back up to where we were before. How will the adjustments play out? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. So not so not a gr greatest restart in the world because now everyone's kind of like on equal top footing at this point. I'll take a look at the leaderboards in just a second of where we're. Sorry, Mark. Ah! Chad was ready to avenge avenge Mark after that little bit of contact. As we got more contact with with, with Sterling Marlin, I've been trying to figure out where the who the hell is lapped down at this point. Uh, yeah, okay. So it's everyone like even Mike Skinner's back with us. Fuck. So the revenge the, the revenge tour does not really last very long. Dang. Um, yeah, so the worst we can finish is 40 seconds. So hopefully we don't have to do that. Yeah, even Andy, even Andy Houston's back up here. Uh, Mike Skinner's back. I, cu I could just take him out again, but I won't. Like I said, not on purpose anyway, because we're, gonna, we're already even now at this point. So, you know, bygones are bygones. Unless he wants to initiate the crap again, then that's up to him. Yeah. I got stuck between a Labonte sandwich there, and that did not work out very well for us at all. We fell to 36. I don't know who was past us from position. I think that might have been uh, Presley. No. Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, the car has got damage all over the arrow at this point. We're just tight and then loose, and we're tight and loose again. I'm not even trying to take out the 96. It just happens to be that way. Yeah, the car has just lost all handling capabilities, and... Uh, and yeah, we're just falling to 38th. Hopefully that's the hopefully that's the last where we'll be finishing today because of that because of all that. Unless we can get these spots back, I'm still not gonna race Skinner very cleanly though. I'll I'm not I'll not uh, kill kill him like we did last time, but yeah, this car has just lost all sense of handling. I did say I I did say I wasn't sure what if the adjustment was gonna be good or not. And in this case, the adjustments were not good. We've just been fighting with Andy Houston and Mike, Mike Skinner to try to get, get ourselves back at that top 35 spot, because apparently, I think somebody blew up. I think that's what Wally Dom back that just blew up for, uh, in the race anyway. So a really bad day in the office for the 75 car as we let Mike Skinner go by. We're not gonna, like I said, we're not going to race him very cleanly, but we're going to try to get that spot up so easily, but we just did right then and there. So he's in clean sailing air against us right now. Yeah, there's no way we're going to catch him now. One of the more higher-performing cars. We're going to try to finish 36 and just 
hopefully, get, you know, just end the day at 36. If not, 37th is just a-okay. A -okay. We still got about 20 some laps to go in this race. If it's going to be just much just us all by ourselves, that's okay. I think a 37th, 38th place day is just dandy. As we got, I think, Rusty Wall is ready to lap us again. Yeah, I lost Andy Houston. Crap, I lost Andy Houston. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it back. Uh, yeah, he kind of made a pass on me about a few laps ago. I thought I'd be able to get it back, but uh, not really. Johnny Betts is running a really respectable third place. Go on. Go on, buddy. I'm cheering for you, buddy. Unfortunately, there's Ricky of the Year winner at this point, Matt Kenseth. <laughs> We're not going to be able to come close to him in terms of Rookie of the Year battle anyway, as he makes a, makes a power pass on the outside. Looks like Stewart's trying to pass, I think, Andy Houston as well up there. Hopefully, we can, lap cars can actually... Uh, Hopefully, lead lap cars can give, give Andy Houston a little bit of trouble so we can get ourselves back up there. So, yeah, so, so far, I mean, the best I could do is, well, I was trying to give, uh, give a lane for Kenny Wallace and help, help him in the point standings there, but he's kind of just being himself at the moment. So we're going to let him, let Kenny go by as well as the other RCR, like, affiliated, like, alliance that we have with Dale and Hart Sr. Um, yeah, he's going to pass, pass both of us no problem. Um, yeah, just chilling. At this point, I'm really just chilling. There's really a, no reason to, like, fight anybody or anything like that. I just want to bring the car home and whatever it is at this at this point. That's why I've been kind of silent for the entirety of the time. There's really, like, nothing to really talk about because here comes the 18 ready to put us a lap down. And we got and we got his brother, Scary Terry, right be behind us. Ready to pass us along with, alongside. I know it's not the right paint scheme, but um, they just unveiled, like, Kyle Larson's throwback for the uh, Darlington race. Why is the throwback weekend not on the Southern 500 is a big dummy move by NASCAR, I should say. They promote the throwback weekend on the 400 miler rather than the Southern 500, which makes absolutely zero sense whatsoever. But uh, yeah, they brought back Terry Labonte's uh, 1996 paint scheme, but of course it's with the HendrickCars.com, not the court, you know, the Kellogg's car because, hey, sponsors. I know that's, Brett, that's also Brett Bodine behind us. Since it's kind of like not worth it to basically like pay bet pay him back right now, it's actually really not worth it right now to go pay, try to pay him back. We'll we'll do we'll do it uh we'll do it some other time where it actually matters more. But we're still gonna annoy him a little bit. We're still gonna annoy him a little bit though. I don't know what posi I don't know what position he he he's running, but we're still gonna annoy him. Try to make his day a little bit more rotten than it already is. Hey. I did say I was gonna annoy him a little bit more. I don't see Bobby Hamilton anywhere. I did check the leaderboard. That is exactly who I'm racing racing against right now. He's also another lap down, I believe. We're gonna fall to three laps down, and honestly, the shorter this event at this point, the better. Tires can only do so much, even with the tire wear upgrades. Our new chassis is coming in at a few races where we're gonna actually have better grip and wear anyway. So it's gonna be good, 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 good when that, when that kind of time comes. I don't see the four car anywhere still. That's very good news for us. We're still gonna continue to annoy Brett Bodine. Just a reminder that we still don't we still don't like him. And here comes Rusty Wallace to put us another lap down. Is that Bill Elliott for a, for a, like the, the lead? I I died a very highly. So we let him go because our car got tight. So I thought it was I thought it was uh, Benson in third, but no, he's fifth. I'm, my bad, my bad. Anyway, here comes Jeff Burton. I thought Rusty, I thought Bill Elliott was actually competing for a spot. He wasn't. I'm disappointed now. Oh, turn car, please, please turn. It right, looks like we're gonna get lapped. Oh, all right. So Bobby Hamilton is coming up. I, all right, there he is in the mirror. He was he wasn't there before, but now he is. This car cannot rotate anymore. And when I'm in third gear, it wants to over rotate, especially when shifting. So we're actually we're gonna lose a spot to Bobby Hamilton, or at least I hope not. But it's probably gonna be that way. I mean, I can, I can hold him off for a little bit, but that's pretty much about it. Shift down the third gear and just try to keep it straight as best I can off in the middle of this corner, but it's still going to get loose off the corner because I've just shifted from third to fourth. All right, so Bobby's on our ass now. We're going to try to hold him up as we kind of held up Johnny Benson. We held up the wrong guy. But we, let, we went to the outside, so unfortunately there goes the spot. We might be able to get that spot back in the corner. I don't know yet. We might be able to get it back. I don't know if the tires are gonna work, gonna work, be worthwhile though either. We're actually gonna go to the apron and try to do something about it, but no, we cannot. So that's another spot gone. Rather unfortunate there. We're not gonna be able to get it back, I don't think. 
37 is probably where we're going to try to finish today. Yeah, apparently, we're not out of the woods yet either. Not only because the four tires are worn, but we got Rick Mast. Oh my gosh. The tires are completely destroyed now at this point. Yeah, really unfortunate there that the, the tires are basically shot. I'm really not trying to run into the 14 car, which is. It's just the tires just can't turn anymore, and this damage is not helping as three of the four parts of the, of, the, of, the, of the car are completely destroyed. Trying my best to not, not kill the thing, not with three laps to go, but at this point, we're just going to have to take the L once again, and this time finish 38th. I thought we are going to finish 37th. Apparently not. We're going to finish 38th. Not good at all. It may be five laps to go, but I'm hoping to get lapped again pr pretty soon, which, it, which is not going to happen. We're just going to all right, so they got one lap to go. We still have to cross that. And uh, I think it's still going to be Rusty Wallace that wins. We're going to come home 38th. I don't know who's, finish who's finishing 39th, but I don't want to I don't want to know either. Wow, even the left front is very worn. I put the suspension settings pretty high to try to compensate these tire wear, and I have 59 on the tire wear, so I'm, I'm, I was expecting to be able to have a little bit more than just what we have, you know what I mean? I mean, we're going to come home 38th, and, and that's all she wrote, but ouch, man. This is not good. Yep, 38th. That's it. Yep, we got money. That's all there is to it. Rusty Walls is your winner today. We got Gary Bradbury, who's the other three laps down person. Very many caution laps in this one. Well, that was good news to the guys who ran out front. More cautions would just have meant more restarts, which is more chances for you to lose positions. The Delphi car got into some trouble and did some damage to his car. You know, some of these teams have multiple cars, and a race like this won't set them back too far. It's the guys who have only one or two cars that suffer the most. But hey, it'll make you learn to take care of your car in a hurry. This has been NASCAR Winston Cup Racing. Brought to you by EA Sports and MRN. We'll see you next week at Pocono. So we made a little scrappy, but if Rusty Wallace today is your winner. If it was Kenny Wallace last week, is Rusty Wallace this week. That's a back-to-back -back victory for the Wallace family. So definitely Mama Wallace is definitely very happy at the, at the moment. Rusty will now try to continue, catch back up to the points lead. I think he's not going to be able to take the points lead now, but I think Stuart finished like in the top five as well. So there's some points there, but I think he led the most laps, so he'll gain like 10, 10 points on him for sure. Um, as for us, though, we got scrappy. We effed around and found out, and uh, yeah, 38th is probably like 37, 38th is probably what, what we all got. But uh, don't worry, the new chassis is coming pretty soon. We just have to survive one more race. But for right now, your winner is Rusty Wallace. Well, we got money. That's good, $166,000. I mean, that's probably going to be our last payment, probably, of the, the Craftsman car and, and all that stuff, anyway. Um, yeah, 30, 38th, after a little bit of do -si doing and shebanging going on. We got two people that, that, that DNF'd. Uh, Rusty Wallace, of course, is your winner. Only two lead changes. Interesting. We got Ricky Rudd second, Jeff Burton third, Tony Stewart fourth, Johnny Benson fifth, Kansas sixth. Another great rookie rookie showing for Mr. Kansas. Dale Jarrett, the defending champ, finishes seventh. J Jeff Gordon eighth, Mark Martin ninth, and Dale Senior in tenth. As we have to take a look at the rest of the grid, we have t our teammates finishing fifteenth and seventeenth. And Brett Bo Brett Nine finishes twenty first. Still, we kind of gave a little bit of a of a note for uh, Mike Skinner, so that that's the payback favored, but we haven't paid back. Well, we got, I guess in a way we kind of did with Brett Bodine, but I'm not satisfied, so screw him. As we ha as we um the tires just died. <laughs> it just seems like no matter what setup I do, it just seems like the tires are just gonna die no matter what. It's just so uh, frustrating. It's probably because of the, the tire grip still lack or lack thereof, so that's always that to consider. But hey, one more race though after this. After this, after this race that, that's like coming up after Pocono, we should be able to get some, a new chassis tire grip anyway, so that's going to be good there. Now we're back to the stock paint scheme again, the in-game paint scheme, because our sponsorships are, are gone. I want to correct something. It is not because of the Shop Edition chassis tire grip. It's just we have a new chassis coming in that's being built, and it's coming next race. See, oh, okay, that's, I'm sorry, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Chassis, yep. I forget what the status is for that. I think that's 64 tire grip and 64 tire wear. So that's something to really look forward to. Yeah, definitely I'm very looking forward to that. But we still have to survive one more race with what we got. So we're not going to be overhauling anything or building anything. 
Obviously not. But we do should have be able to grammar Nick. You do not yeah, I do not know what that is, even though um yeah, 50-55. So it's not exactly great either for Pocono. Uh so Pocono is gonna be another L of a race. Alright, so I guess before I guess well before we go, we, I guess we can take a look at what we have for options wise for the primary, and it is we can get the Kodiak car. I mean, that that is for, um, which we call it, though. Uh, wow, I, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. That's the, that's the package sponsor that we got. It's going to be Stacy Compton's car, which we don't want. Um, it's, 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 it's just, wow, again, it is, uh, hmm, finish 25th place. That ain't, that ain't happening. Average finish in 30th. Finish the 30th place. It looks like the Delphi car might be coming back. I'm not, I'm not trying to make a comeback, but it's just that's just how it is. Finish 25th. That's not exactly what I want to look for. Uh, qualify 25th place. That's that's very good. I don't know about average starting spot though. That's definitely not happening. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny how we're gonna have Richard Petty in the back of the car. It seems the Richard Petty driving experience maybe at this point. I mean, I guess we're gonna have a little bit of Petty Blue on the back. I guess, <laughs> despite the being. A dodge? I, I, I really don't know what, what to uh, to do storyline-wise, because we're driving for Andy Petrie Racing. It doesn't make any sense. Finish ahead of Ter Scary Terry. That ain't happening. Third, rank 30th in points. Also not happening. Maybe 30th in earnings, but that's about that's pretty much a no. Robbie Gordon won't show up in race. 40th in points. We can kind of do that. I don't know. It's Our sponsorships are going to be all over the place, though. I really I really don't like that. Uh, and, the and the team sponsor, just, you know, whatever to get paid, I guess. We'll just pick whatever we want with that. So we do have... Oh wait, actually, no, for drivers. Well, I completely forgot about that. Or did I... Oh, it was already there. Dummy. Yeah. Uh, Definitely project the total five grand. Wow. Oh, gosh. Um, so that's all she wrote. We got Pocono coming up next episode. We're still 38th in the standings. We have kind of not lost our way against Chad Little, but that's okay. We're still waiting for P Pocono anyway, but we're, we're going to have the new chassis grip just in time for one of the more paid races on the schedule, the Brickyard. I know Brickyard 400 get, pays a lot of money for that for this sort of thing, so definitely want to keep a look forward to that. Like, once we get the new chassis, it's all going to be set, set sailing for grip-wise for, like, some of these races. It's going to be good. It's all going to come together. And so, as a certain character from a certain movie once said, oh, yeah, it's all coming together. Don't worry. It's going to... It's... Trust the process, even though there is no process. Just trust it. Promise. Anyway, so that's it for this episode. We'll see you in the next race at Pocono, or my home state track once again. We're going to take massive L's once again. Probably because we have no tire grip for this for this thing still. Ugh. So annoying. But that's okay. We'll be there We'll be there for Brickyard as well. So we got two long tracks coming up. So we'll see you guys then on the next episode.